All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of our brand new Planet Zoo series, Tropical Wings Zoo. Now, if you've missed the last episode, the very first episode, the pilot episode in this brand new series, I will link it above for you now, my friends. Uh, you know, that episode basically gets us started. It shows you the city, uh, it kind of maps out the law, and it lets you know what you can expect from this series. So if you're yet to watch that, feel free to go do so. It's only a 20 minute video, and I think it kind of covers all bases and supplies you with some amazing information. Now, to today's episode, my friends, we are not going to be doing any building, and that may be a bit of a surprise uh, to you guys at home. But the reason for this is that I have a very particular way that I want to present this series to you guys as we go along. I said in the very first pilot episode that I want to kind of show you plans and I want to show you my thought processes and my methods for doing things. And today, that is exactly what we're going to be doing. This is a very heavy episode where plans and stuff like that are concerned. And I'm actually going to be mapping out a lot of stuff in today's episode that will probably cover the first four or five episodes. So if anything, it's actually information that I'm going to supply you guys so that then you can get very, very excited about what what direction we're going to go in. I'm probably going to be sort of uh, discussing the early stages of the zoo and potentially even revealing the first animal. Something else that I'm also going to cover in today's episode is your interaction from last episode. Uh, you will remember that I asked you guys to name the city and, and, and name the surrounding streets and the canal and stuff like that. And you guys have been absolutely amazing. You got so many great names into me. Now, I think it's only fair, because I do like all of the names put forward, that I actually offer each of these names up to you guys uh, as sort of by way of a poll, I guess you could say. And I think that you guys should all have the deciding vote and um, we will be doing that at the end of today's episode so if you were one of the people that put in some name suggestions be sure to stick around so you can see uh, your name come up and even vote for yours or potentially someone else's but to the first part of today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, and this is going to be a big piece of planning. Uh, as you're going to see on the screen right now, we have uh, a, a sort of bird's eye view of the uh, of, of part of the map, uh, mainly the zoo plot, which I am actually going to highlight a bit more for you guys, uh, just so you can differentiate it from the actual map itself. Now, we need to plan basically every minute detail of this project, and the reason why we have to do this is that space is of a premium and we have lots and lots of animals that we want to try to fit into this zoo um there's going to be many many ways that i'm going to try to do this and i think you know future planning episodes will reveal this a bit more um, i think that what i am going to do is i'm going to take that animal list that i revealed to you last time and I'm going to condense it into groups. Uh, you know, I kind of have this vision of doing uh, an aquarium, but in that aquarium, I feel like I could place, you know, I could place potentially the penguins nearby, the seals, and then I could, for instance, do a small mammal house and so on and so on. So I do want to try to take, you know, little pockets of the animals and uh, and, and group them together. Um, I know that zoos have very particular ways of doing this sort of thing, and obviously we're going for realism, so I am going to be following in those rules of you know potentially doing animals from the certain parts of the world or you know uh, certain sizes and this sort of stuff i am going to make sure i do it properly but uh, i think you can expect a very good mix of um, indoor and outdoor enclosures where the zoo is concerned and i think because of the space we're gonna have to be very very clever about the way we do it and the way that our guests interact with it as well now to the plan at hand uh, we need to talk about the very first stages of um, where we're going to go with our zoo now just to supply a little addition to the lore and the storyline that i provided last episode um the entrance is the first thing we are going to talk about and i've decided to put the entrance on uh you know the back part in last episode uh i put up on the screen uh, two potential entrance plots and uh, you guys actually twisted my arm and made me think about the bigger picture uh a lot of people said that the private road would be an awful place for the entrance to go because it's a dead end and uh you know there'd be no space for through, through traffic and stuff like that whereas the road at the back actually is 
on on a loop at the end of the day that goes all the way around the park obviously we only see part of it because we could only build part of the city but that actually goes through and uh, you know off into different parts of the city now the mayor uh, mayor clive has uh, already said that he is going to uh, put in a new part to the bus uh uh, the, the the bus routes in the city to supply the zoo with uh, some much needed you know transport right up to the to, to to the doors of the zoo. So that's amazing, and it actually makes even more sense that we go with the entrance on the back road. Now, a lot of the buildings where this little plan is concerned, and the little the little things that I'm going to highlight in today's episode are not exactly to scale. Uh, the entrance could take up that much room, but I'm hoping it doesn't because we need to make the most of all the space. I have. A very particular idea already in mind where the entrance is concerned and um, i'm going to be hoping to reveal plans where the entrance is concerned on the discord hopefully um this week so if you're not following the discord and you want to stay up to date we have a very special section dedicated to this zoo feel free to follow it you can find the link in the description below so the next thing I want to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, uh, where this part of the planning is concerned, is that of staff facilities. You're going to see on the screen are uh, two areas that I am highlighting for staff facilities areas. Again, not to scale, uh, you know, I don't know how much room it's going to take up, but these are just the two plots of land that I do expect them to go. Um, there's going to be lots of stuff, you know, involved in the staff facility. So as a result, I'm going to highlight some of the stuff that you can find in these areas. There could be a few more things uh, there might not be as much, we just don't know yet, but this is kind of how I envision these two areas and the staff, um, you know, areas, you know, uh, are playing out, basically. Uh, so we'll, we'll tackle the one at the top first. Uh, I'm going with an animal hospital and quarantine. I do think that's going to take up a lot of room. And the reason I've placed it here as well is we have good access to uh, that private road. I'm actually going to put up on the screen now some staff access points. These are going to be points that I will be adding, uh, you know, for animal our staff roads that could potentially go round and into the zoo uh, that only our staff will use also that private road is actually perfect i think animals you know coming into the city straight up that private road which is going to be a lot quieter into the animal hospital and quarantine is a great way for these animals to be brought to the facility to then go to the certain habitats uh, in and around the zoo also you're going to see that we've got staff centers uh, zoo prep and kitchens we've got waste services like i've already said there could be more stuff as well but but um, I think that, you know, we need these in the two separate areas. I'm sure there will be another mini hub. I would imagine um, the part of the zoo towards the bottom of the map. I think that will probably get its own one as well. I haven't put it on here for now because I'm still I'm in an R in about what I'm going to do with that part of the zoo. I am actually going to throw out, uh, you know, a couple of suggestions where animals are concerned for that bit of the zoo. And I think that's probably where I'm going to start with the animals uh, when we do get round to it next up on the map ladies and gents you're going to see emergency exits now obviously we're doing this realistic and uh, all zoos have emergency exits they have you know quick ways for the guests to get out of the zoos uh, you know should there be any problems um you know things like fire things like dangerous animals escaping all this sort of stuff you need to have quick ways out of the zoo uh, you're going to see there's lots of emergency points we might need a few more but the reason why i'm planning these already is that obviously we're going to have to plan things like um like our habitats around them and also uh, restaurants and stuff like that we're going to have to make sure we don't put anything in front of the emergency exits we have to make sure there is easy access to the, the to the pathways uh, you know into and you know into the main roads into the park and stuff like that and to make sure our guests are safe when they are exiting the zoo should there be an emergency the next thing i'm going to put up on the screen is uh, a, a few uh, like black lines basically these represent potential tunnels or bridges now we obviously have a bit of uh, a, a tricky thing to try to to get our to get around uh, where this zoo is concerned um, we've obviously got this plot at the moment and there is a road that unfortunately runs through it um, we also do have another plot that isn't on the screen right now that we could potentially buy and that has a canal through it so again if we did do that we're going to have another problem where that's concerned now looking at it I'm not sure if I want to go with bridges or tunnels. I think tunnels make a lot more sense. You go under that road, uh, you know, you, you, it's probably an easier way to manipulate terrain um, and to make uh, beautification uh, a lot easier and stuff like that. But um, 
I am that I've just put this in place now because we do need to know where those tunnels or bridges are going to go to service that other part of the zoo. Um, like I've already said, I do think tunnels are probably going to make uh, the more sense. And it's one of the reasons as well uh, that I have offset the entrance and I haven't gone central because I was thinking that, you know, with the entrance, you could feed in. And we could almost come to a T junction. Uh, you know, if you was to go right, you go to the tunnel left, you go into the main part of the zoo. Uh, you know, and obviously uh, the other section of that T would be, you know, to and from the entrance. And the last thing I'm going to reveal on the map today is the first animal habitat now it's going to highlight a very big area and it's highlighting a big area for a reason i've got two ideas for the first animals or animal or animals that i'm going to put in the zoo first up i'm thinking elephants obviously african elephants are on our uh they're on our um, zoo zoo animal list and uh, they're going to require um, a lot of room and i was thinking this might actually be the perfect place to put a big elephant house and uh, and and put you know the elephants a herd of elephants uh, over that side i think it makes perfect sense as well because we could essentially use that as kind of like a, an african trowel or an into africa i'm not sure what name we're going to go with but I, I do want to do like an african adventure type area and i think that might be perfect there is also room left there for potentially some smaller habitats for things like our painted dogs or our walt hogs uh, we have many many african animals on the list i can't quite remember all of them but you know there is some space there to potentially put more habitats in if we didn't go with the elephants though i think that the majority of our african area could actually fit in that part of the zoo so again we could just completely change it and plan up that entire area to represent africa a lot of people might be looking at that and thinking it's very close to the road and whatnot but you know there's going to have to be really clever ways that we try to you know minimize sound and uh, we take we dampen that out um, because uh, unfortunately that road's there and it's something that we've got to deal with okay my friends so we come to the next part of today's episode and that is the city name and the street name suggestions and how you can basically put forward your votes uh they're up on the screen the city names uh, as you can see um i've put them all on the screen so you can see them but i am going to give you sort of the explanation that uh, the majority of people gave me with the names when they supplied them so the first one on the list is i am bread bear and he left uh the name british land unfortunately there was no Ex, uh, explanation but obviously i guess he probably took from what i said from last episode that i used chelmsford and london both in england european and he kind of just went uh with that train of thought next up uh is alexander gardner's uh name suggestion and he's gone with chelmsden um from his comment um it basically said that they combined uh, chelmsford and london you know and mashed the name together i do quite like it actually it's you know it's one of those things and it's quite a quite an easy Thing to do if you've uh, if you've got a, a noggin and uh, yeah it's quite a cool little name so that is option b option c comes in from Joachim lundau i hope i'm pronouncing your first name uh, properly my friend i know that you you join me on streams and stuff uh, and they've gone with the name suggestion Northdow. no explanation i can imagine though it's sort of a scandinavian feel potentially i'm not sure i know that uh uh, Joachim is uh, Swedish, I do believe, so potentially, potentially, I'm just spitballing, I'm guessing, but great name suggestion from him, that is option C. Uh, option D comes in from Leaf Production, I do want to give a massive shout out to Leaf, if you don't know who Leaf is, uh, put the name in the your YouTube search engine and go and check uh, go and check this guy out, he makes some fantastic uh, stuff where Planet Zoo is concerned, uh, but also it's a big part of the modding community, I am not really one for using mods, but uh, the modding community is becoming pretty amazing where Planet Zoo is concerned so do go check out Leaf uh, if you get a chance after this video uh, Leaf has left the suggestion uh, Brixford he basically said it sounds very quintessentially uh, British doesn't it and I do have to agree great name suggestion that is option D option uh, E comes in from Cyverse um, a new name I've got to be honest I don't know if you've been subscribed for a while but it is a new name it's always nice to see new people Will pop up in the comment section uh, no real exp uh, explanation uh, to, to kind of go along with the name but they've gone with greenwood uh, i'm maybe maybe gonna use my my noggin and think that maybe because it sits inside a park potentially it's very green i'm not sure 
great little name though that's option e uh, option uh, the next option comes in from Bryn jones a, a absolute regular on the channel and i hope you're doing really well Bryn. uh left the name suggestion motter's head i know this is probably a nod to chester zoo uh, and chester zoo's founders because um Bryn gave me this name suggestion i believe for jammy when we were doing that series uh and it didn't he obviously didn't get his uh, his, his name selected but uh, if memory serves me correct, that's what it is. And that is option F. And the last option, ladies and gentlemen, comes in from Veganitis, another regular on the channel. I hope you're doing really well, Veganitis. Uh, they've left a couple of name suggestions, uh, Burdett and or uh, Cranesford. And um, basically, Veganitis went with the thought process of using birds and kind of like tweaking the names slightly. Uh, so yeah, I really, really like these. That is option G, my friends. Uh, so the way you can uh, vote for your suggestion, unfortunately, there's no poll uh, thing on YouTube anymore and uh, I could do this through my Discord but I know not everybody's on there so instead what we're going to do is in the comment section below uh, you just leave uh, city name uh, a city name vote and then select A, B, C, D, E, F or G. Uh, that's going to be the easiest way to do it my friends uh, because uh, I can just scroll through the comment section then and pick the ones that you like the most. And then next up we're going to do the street name suggestions. We're going to do it exactly the same way. Not as many um, to pick from. I just want to let people know that uh, 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 there were more street names that were suggested but what I've done is I've taken the people that have given me a bunch of names because there are quite a lot of streets to try and name uh, throughout the city and what I do like as well is that a couple of people on this list have actually named the canal uh, one's even gone as far as naming the lake so that's absolutely amazing but uh, yeah let's go through the suggestions shall we so the first one comes in from the Persian pig and um, they've gone with a bunch of street names and a lake name and a canal name uh, all really really cool uh, Irwin Way, Crap Boulevard, uh, Attenborough Drive, Marvin Street, Gallant uh, Lane, Goodall Drive, Hannah Lake and Corwin Canal they're all named after people that have had a huge huge part um, where the natural world is concerned whether that be you know zoological societies or, uh, uh, or stuff like that um, I know like Steve Irwin, uh, the Crap Brothers, David Attenborough, Nigel Marvin, Forrest Gallant, Jane Goodall, Jack Hannah and Jeff Kerwin were the people that were used as inspiration and I actually love this I think it's a really really cool uh, idea to go with and uh, a great suggestion that is option A Next one comes in from Leaf again. Uh, amazing. I love, that. I love that Leaf got really, really involved in the series. Um, they've gone with street names like uh, Marigold Avenue, Lavender Street, Rose Way. Um, essentially, Leaf said he thinks it would be really cool if the streets were named after flowers. And I like that because, um, you know, it is, um, you know, the zoo is going to sit inside a park which is lush with, you know, greens and flowers and all this sort of stuff. Amazing, uh, amazing suggestion that that's option B. Option C comes in from a favourite of mine where the channel is concerned usually joins me on my streams when I was doing those and that is Faneral I hope you're doing really well um, a few suggestions here again Faneral was named the canal which is absolutely amazing uh, it's gone with the options uh, Grand Street for the for the main street uh, gone with Vanille Road which is where all the posh houses are uh, Bastille Way which is towards the back of the map and gone with Bastille Canal so the, the areas match up amazing stuff absolutely love it that is option c option d comes in from thomas uh, whitehead um, and uh, thomas has left a couple of suggestions and said you know that the others can kind of explain themselves and they do uh, he's gone with highbury road upton road um, basically uh, what's what thomas tom's done here is he's using uh, like football clubs and football stadia uh, essentially and then just turning it into roads obviously Highbury used to be um, up where Arsenal played back in the day Upton Park was where where Stan played so he said we could just uh, we could go with this should we choose the option I really like this one as well that's option D and the last one comes in from Bryn Jones once again um, and Bryn has gone with Chapel Street Highland Estate and Lakeisha Road and basically what Bryn has done here and uh, only the OGs will realize this is he's actually uh, tipped the hat and given a nod to our Highland Zoo series. Lakesha was actually the name of one of the gorillas, which is amazing. I don't know if Bryn went back or if he if he remembered that. Obviously, it was called Highland Zoo as well. So yeah, it's just a bit of a nod to the very first Planet Zoo series we did. That is option E, my friends. Once again, what you've got to do is the same way we did it for the, for the city one. Uh, just put 
uh, you know, uh, street name vote, and then A, B, C, D, E, uh, you know, pick the one you want. What I would suggest is do it all in one comment. So do the city name vote, the street name vote, do it all in, this, in the same comment. Make it easier for me. And then whichever ones come out on top, my friends, that is what we will name them. And hopefully by the time the next episode comes around, I'll have all the street names and stuff in place. So there you have it my friends, we are done and dusted for another episode of the Tropical Wings series, a relatively short episode, like I said we're going to be doing a few of these where we are just going to be doing planning, it is going to be a little bit of uh, chit chat and stuff, but what you can expect from the next episode is the first bit of building. Uh, like I've already said, if you're not a member of the Discord, I implore you to go and follow it if you have it, because we have a special section there that is dedicated to all things Tropical Wings, and hopefully at some point in the next couple of days, I'm going to have the first sketch and the first loose drawings of what the entrance is going to look uh, look like. And then, with a bit of luck, by the time the weekend or early part of next week rolls around, I'll be able to sit down and get building. And we'll finally get this zoo construction underway, my friends. I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Uh, make sure you get involved in the city name and the street name vote in the comment section below. Something else I do just want to bring up before we sign out today's episode is lots and lots of people have been asking me to upload the city to the workshop now that is the plan my friends I am definitely going to be doing that but what I need to do is go away and slightly edit the city to make it easier for you guys to use I'm sure you can all imagine it's a very highly detailed and there's a few things I probably want to uh, you know edit reduce the piece count for to make it easier on the people that don't have amazing computers probably gonna take me uh, a couple of weeks to get it done but what I will say is that when that is uploaded to the workshop I'll be sure to let people know on the discord and i will also let people know on youtube by posting the link to the steam workshop uh, in the community page so do keep your eyes on that over the next sort of uh, week or two uh, it will be uploaded just haven't got around to editing the city to make it easier for you guys yet but yeah like i say get involved in those votes for the city and street names really hope you've enjoyed today's episode social appreciation by dropping me a like on the video if you have if you're new and you really want to stay up to date with this project hit that subscribe button then you won't miss a thing i'm hoping to you know upload at the moment one or two episodes a week uh one's probably more you know capable than two but i am going to be uploading every single week where the series is concerned also later this week my friends if you are a fan of jammy conservation part series that will be out on Sunday we're going to be talking about how I intend to pick that series up so if you are a fan of that be sure to tune in the end of the week but I am off my friends enjoy it the rest of your day remember to always stay safe stay humble and I'll see you on the next one <laughs>